The plant-based diet trend is the hottest trend in wellness right now. So here to tell us more about it is LA-based performance nutritionist Cynthia Sass and Olympian and founder of Switch for Good, Dotsie Bowish. Yeah. How are you? Yeah. Okay, so everyone's been watching this documentary, myself included, The Game Changers. Have you guys seen this? So a lot of it talks about, you know, creating a vegan plant-based lifestyle and how it's actually better for you and athletes are getting more protein and bigger muscles from eating this way than what people think. So tell me a little bit about why this plant-based diet is the better way to live. Well, you're living you, proof. So you, you go first. I'm like, that's plant -based. Okay, I'll go first. Uh, I grew up eating animals. For 35 years of my life, there was never a plate that did not have an animal or animal product. So when I switched over a couple of years out of Olympic Games, it was like a massive transformation. Yeah. And right before the Olympics. Like, that's yeah. A couple of years before, it was a little nerve-wracking, but I really felt committed and I wanted to do it. And what happened to my body was just almost, it, it just amazed me. It was I, I wasn't expecting that big of a gain. And I stood on the Olympic podium at almost almost 40 years old, the oldest in my discipline in history, all on a plant-based diet. Wow. I got more energy. I had better recovery, better repair, better repeatability between intervals and efforts. Yeah. It was just, it was magical. My whole fear is, because I've thought about this before, I'm a dude, I work all day, <laughs> and when I go to the gym and I work out, I do it for gains. I'm just yeah. scared as a man that I won't get enough protein throughout mm. the day. I think if you've seen The Game Changers, that myth is busted completely, right, by the film. Um, whether you're male or female, one of the biggest myths is that you can't meet your nutrient needs, especially protein, with a plant-based diet, and that's mm -hmm. absolutely not true. You can meet all of your nutrient needs and enhance your performance and your gains, as Dati said, improve your recovery, boost your immune system, get better blood flow. There's numerous benefits. You just have to know what you're doing and do it right, and that's the key. Okay, yeah. walk me through a day if I were to say, I'm going to do this. So mm -hmm. just walk me through the day. Okay. What would I do before I work out? Okay, so here we have a really simple pre-workout meal of just oatmeal with a little bit of maple syrup and some fruit. This is especially good if you're, that. yeah, easy, yeah. easy breezy, right? If you're gonna, and a little bit of cinnamon. If you're gonna eat about 30 to 45 minutes before the start of your workout, this is perfect because it's gonna fuel that workout. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be easy to digest, become readily absorbed, and get burned during the training. Okay, okay I have to, I have to start here, okay? Uh -huh. Because my first thought is, okay, bananas are carbs, <laughs> oatmeal is carbs. She's yeah. such a girl. But I know. Like, <laughs> Why are you afraid of carbs? Because you were like, in my head, out. I am trained that too many carbs. Yes, and I know the difference between like a donut and you potato know potato or banana. Yeah, but at the same time, too many carbs, then your sugar levels are going to spike, and then you're going to be craving carbs all day, and then it turns into fat, and then blah, not blah, true. Blah. That's unless you're doing donuts, yeah, <laughs> and lollipops and Twinkies. It's just not the case. We need carbohydrates for energy, and that fear has been brought to us by. By the meat and dairy industry. Okay, yeah. so even if I'm not working out, I can still eat that day. I yes. can still eat well, this. Yes. And, and also, portion is key, right? So this is based Anything. on about 2,500 calories, which may be more than an average person who's less active or is not a, you know, training for several hours yeah, is going to need. So you might have a slightly less portion. However, have you heard the term slow burning carbs? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. What that means is it gets digested and absorbed slower over a longer period of time, almost which are like those? a time rate. Oatmeal is a great example, right? Okay. So instead of this big spike in your blood sugar, you're going to get a slow kind of absorption over a longer time, a better insulin response, and you're going to be better fueled over a longer period. Yeah. I'm going to need a long list of those. I have this all think. the time. Whole Foods is the key. What is um, this? This is a post-workout smoothie. It you know, doesn't look quite as bright as it did when I made it, but it's, it's spinach. It's um, frozen cherries, a couple of dates, plant mm. protein powder. This is based on pea protein, almond butter, almond milk, and a little bit of fresh ginger. Okay, you perfect, had me at the first for, Perfect for recovery. <laughs> I can do it. This this is going to give you the raw materials for healing post-workout. Um, here we have a salad with um, one cup each of lentils and quinoa and some sprouted pumpkin seeds with just a very simple mustard vinaigrette over kale. This is 30 grams of protein right here. Damn. I could do it. Mm -hmm. I'm still That's with the it. one thing that you're halfway there. About. I'm, I'm, still, I'm still with it. <laughs> now we've got a, a plant protein bar, 15 grams of protein with some fruit. And then this is Dotsie's creation. Would you oh, like he's, to talk he's about going into the bar. <laughs> I want to try the bar. Just go in. ahead and just <laughs> bite right into it. All but right. 
Much probably much better than you thought it was uh -huh. going to be. Very right? much. A okay. lot. What is this dish yeah. here? So um, this is uh, you can find on switchforgood.org, and mm -hmm. I did this alongside a, a chef, uh, Jason Robel, and this is 37 grams of protein. So you have tempeh. I don't see it. Yeah. So well, I swear <laughs> I wouldn't lie to you on the show here. Plants have um, more protein than you think. That's like a, that's a coleslaw with uh, hemp seeds on top. Mm -hmm. Hemp seeds ounce per ounce have more protein than meat, so that's kind wow. of a cool little fact. Wow. Are you um, beans. I'm dead serious. I, I feel so stupid sometimes. No, 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 it's all good. I just feel like, like mm. I, you, we need to like relearn food. I feel yeah. like it's getting we were so lied confusing. To. I think you're so right. true. Yeah, we were yeah. grown up okay. trained a it's certain delicious. way. You're loving it. Mm -hmm. And then these are roasted potatoes with rosemary and then uh, fermented soy, which is tempeh. And it is 37 grams of protein right there.